Hello. When Jesus went up the mountain and was joined by Elijah and Moses, it must have been an amazing sight to behold for Peter, James and John. We read about this with perhaps envy that we were not able to witness that or even relief that we were not there because we'd have been so frightened. Certainly those men, so recently aware of Jesus' purpose, would have been full of awe and wonder. We can read about this in Matthew 17. And in Matthew 18, verse 20, Jesus said that where two or three are gathered together in his name, he will be there in the midst of them. As soon as I walk into church, I feel the presence of God very strongly. We perhaps are in danger of becoming complacent about God's presence as we know our churches so well, like second homes to most of us. We all pray for Christians all over the world, for their safety in places where they are persecuted, for their ability to spread the gospel wherever they are, for the charitable work done by all the Christian organisations. Recently, we've been praying for the Christians in Afghanistan, that they will be kept safe from harm and, where possible, found somewhere else to live. The Barnabas Fund, working for persecuted Christians, has been instrumental in funding safe passage for Christians in danger, and this has been so necessary in Afghanistan. I was thinking about this as I was reading the passages from Matthew that I mentioned. If all the Christians are taken out of hostile countries, how can Christianity continue there? Of course, remembering what Jesus said in Matthew 18, that would not happen, surely, if there are no Christians left. As a layperson with no theological training other than my years of church attendance and my own personal reading, I worried a lot about this. And then, of course, common sense prevailed. This is God's world. He is everywhere and will be there in those dark places. Somehow he will help us, lead us, to build his church again where faith is lacking. So as we look forward to rejoicing and celebrating the birth of Christ, may we pray for rebirth of Christian faith throughout the world. Amen.